How's it going there guys? Uh, Jeremy here, Consciousness Awake. How's everyone doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, wow, it's been like six or seven days already since my last upload. It's it just really, really crazy how, uh, how time, how time, day to day, how everything is just moving so much faster. At least that's, that's how, how it makes me feel. Uh, but in this video, uh, I want to talk about <clears throat> um, something I haven't talked about enough. Um, I've mentioned it a couple times, uh, but uh, like soul contracts, um, reincarnation loops, uh, all those kinds of things. Um, you know, I think the title of this video will be um, uh, Soul uh, Contract um, Trap. Like the trap entrapment uh, aspect of soul contracts and uh, the reincarnational uh, process. The, I, I call them the reincarnational uh, loops because literally uh, some uh, souls, uh, uh, you know, consciousness within itself um, um, get trapped literally in like a full circle, a loop pattern where they're going back repeatedly um, to like even one particular uh, reality construct like the one we're in right now uh, that we call Earth. Uh, and they'll go into this one over and over again, back and forth, back and forth, astral plane, Earth, astral plane, Earth. Uh, so that's why I, would, I call it a loop. Um, not that it's an actual circle, but you know, you, you know what I mean, ping pong. The ping pong uh, match of the reincarnational process, uh, but uh, so but what I want to point out in this video, uh, one particular thing that came to mind um, to me earlier today, and I really want to talk about this is uh, just like kind of like embodying a really good example of like a situation uh, that a individual consciousness uh, soul. Uh, will find themselves in and it will be one of the reasons or the one of the main reasons to why they're stuck in a reincarnational loop kind of uh, pattern and here here is a really great great example um, some of us are here uh, just like individually or independently as souls and then there's some people here who are part of soul families um, so there's other people, other souls in human form on Earth uh, right now who would be considered like your uh, uh, soul family. You come from the same place in the multiverse and you just so happen to be, you know, on a, the same or a similar kind of mission. But at the same timeline, you're here, uh, you know, in this reality together and then you run into them sometimes in your life and sometimes you don't and sometimes you're working in conjunction with each other to serve a, a higher purpose and you might not even uh, know it or ever really even uh, meet that person so but on an energetic level you're working on the same plan um, <clears throat> and so um, so uh, one of the ways I'm trying to uh, make this example uh, you know simple um, so one of the ways that you get stuck in the reincarnational pattern is uh, through the uh, idea of karma okay because karma for a lot of people the, the the idea of what karma is to themselves and how it pertains to um, you know reincarnation and coming back to learn new lessons over and over again you know you can if you want to but you don't want you don't have to do that if you don't if you want to revoke uh, you know revoke that type of pattern you revoke it within yourself uh, out loud and that works um, but um, so uh, so this is something where um, the the trap of the soul contract the reincarnational process, the trap within itself, this is how it happens. Um, a 
false construct. Not not false. Well, I guess you could call it a false construct uh, within the astral or etheric constructs. Approaches uh, approaches somebody after their physical death. So after the let, let's just say you, you, you die as a human. You you know you pop out a body. You go into either your etheric body or astral layer, and you're moving on. And then you are uh, approached uh, by uh, other beings, right? Sometimes these beings are posing as uh, just strangers or uh, benevolent beings or uh, might take the shape-shifting uh, of um, uh, your grandmother or grandfather or somebody that you know or really connected to in your life. <clears throat> and then what they will do is... Um, they will say that um, you have to make the sacrifice uh, to uh, for your own soul family. So this is more of like an example for somebody uh, who is more connected to the soul family idea, not um, just like a, a independent like walk-in soul just walking into a specific reality construct for whatever multitude of reasons. Um, <coughs> And so what they'll do is this, uh, this, this being, uh, whoever the being is who's talking to you after you've died, uh, will say, um, you know, uh, to really uh, outgrow, overcome your karma, um, you need to uh, go into a ne another human experience where uh, you go through something very traumatic. Um, so like, for example, this is an example, might, it might be that uh, you enter into a soul contract to come into the human body experience, but then get, uh, get uh, tragically murdered or something, right? Something very traumatic happens. And then what they'll do, uh, what they'll do then is have you agree to uh, pre-setting that, and, but, but more or less, it's just uh, a way to get you to in, in incorporate your own consciousness soul into just another soul contract, uh, so that you're going back uh, to have the specific experience, so that um, uh, you are um, making up. Like, you know, you're, 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 you're going through a traumatic experience to make up for some of the trauma or pain or whatnot or the wrongdoings that you maybe inflicted onto other people, you know, in your past uh, human life experience. So it's like a way to balance the karma, right? Um, and then so, <clears throat> so people will uh, agree to, to, to doing this and then you'll get murdered in that next, you know, uh, life experience. And then once again, you pop out of your body. You are uh, your consciousness moves into your etheric or astral, more like your etheric layer. And then these uh, these beings come up to you again, uh, and it's just another 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 uh, uh, something happens over and over again, uh, and very cyclically. Uh, and then they'll say, um, "Okay, this time." Um, you know, uh, we want you to experience. Uh, we we want you to be the murderer. We want you to, um, you know, murder somebody um, in your soul group, so that they can experience the trauma that that you experienced in those other previous lifetimes. Uh, is that making sense? I'm trying to make this, uh, you know, s uh, just like a simplistic uh, explanation. Um, and then, but the trick there, the trap, the entrapment of that and making another soul contract uh, to trap your uh, energy um, into another, um, just into the reincarnational loop process, uh, then is that, you know, you will be the murderer and you will be thinking that you are helping uh, somebody in your soul family or soul group uh, by murdering them so that the other person can experience the trauma of being murdered. Does this make any sense? Uh, please leave any uh, comments, questions in the comments. I'd be more than happier to uh, explain what I'm trying to explain here. 
Um, but I, I think I'm, I think I'm making sense. Um, so that's just like an example of how, uh, from like a psychological perspective, um, how how this is orchestrated um, by these certain uh, false light beings uh, or just whatever beings there uh, are in the astral planes and the etheric constructs who are just simply trying to trick uh, trick a soul uh, into just the process of the reincarnational loop process within itself and like uh, uh, examples to just like uh, the the dialogue and uh, what you might uh, experience so so if you find yourself in these loops and then you find yourself after death that these kinds of things are happening it just you know stand your ground revoke it have nothing to do with it um, and just use your own sovereignty as consciousness and just uh, explore the multiverse um, do what you want to do uh, don't 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 give your um, uh, your power and your energy your, your consciousness don't give that to any benevolent being even if they're uh, posing as benevolent or anything else so so just uh, um, you know some words of advice there for everyone and I uh, hope you enjoy the video uh, and uh, again, leave any comments if you have any certain questions, if, if you were confused about any particular part um, of the examples I was trying to provide. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.